what's the relationship between application lifecycle management, which means creating and running custom applications, and business processes? There are two important ways that these things are connected. One of them is that ALM can be used to improve business processes. The other is that ALM is itself a business process. I want to discuss both of those things. First, ALM as a way to improve business processes. This year, Gartner asked CIOs to list their number one goals for the year. The number one goal across all the CIOs, better business processes. We know, however, that a primary way to create competitive advantage with IT is to embed a better business process in a custom application, then replicate that app across the organization. We know this in part because we are seeing the rise of actual empirical research into what kinds of IT investment actually make a difference. If you've not read this article, McAfee and Brynolfsson, I'd really encourage you to find it because it's an excellent piece that really clearly defines how this connection exists. A big point they make is what I just said, that being able to improve a process by embedding it in an application, then deploying the app company-wide is a very effective way to create actual value with IT. In their research, they found that certain kinds of business processes were most amenable to this approach. Processes that apply across a large part of your organization, that are consistent and precise, that is, that can be expressed in software, that have built-in enforceability, again, the code can do this, and can be monitored. If you're looking for ways to get better at process improvement in your organization, getting better at custom app creation, at ALM, is clearly one way to do it. But ALM is not just about making other business processes better. ALM itself is a business process. Think about this. Business process X and business process Y are each supported by custom applications. Some steps in the processes rely on code. But that code, those custom apps, is itself the product of a business process called ALM. The process of creating and running custom apps is itself critical to the business. In fact, ALM supports many other business processes, which makes it all the more critical. It's important to realize that building software is just different from many other business processes. It's not a manufacturing process that is the same every single time. Because custom development always involves innovation, always. If it doesn't, you shouldn't be doing it. And so when we think about how people do this process today, it's worth looking at modern styles for software development. Today it's become very common that people build software applications in iterations. The first iteration will have some design, some development, some test. The next iteration will have some more design, some more development, some more test, and so on until the process is done. On the face of it, this can seem inefficient and redundant. But the reality is that people have found this kind of iterative process is the best way to reduce the risk inherent in creating new custom apps. And the big reason for that is that at the start of each iteration, you're able to input new requirements. You can do course corrections along the way. Because building custom software is inherently innovative, using iterative processes is a fundamental way to reduce the risk of building them and to make success more likely. In fact, Iteration like this is the foundation of agile development today as well. So, to summarize, ALM is related to business processes in two important ways. Number one, ALM can be used to improve business processes. Number two, ALM is itself a business process. Any organization that creates custom software should take the ALM process at least as seriously 
as it does any other important business process. It's fundamentally important. And yet, let me ask you, if I'm on an airplane tomorrow and I sit next to your CEO and I ask him or her to list your organization's most important business processes, will they mention ALM? I bet they won't, but they should. They should. If they don't understand this, can I encourage you to change this? Making that change might well be the most important thing you do for your company this year.